Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Pastor Garrett Galhoff, and I'm here to give you uh, the news, the uh, latest breaking updated news. And at first, I usually give you a word uh, from the Bible. Um, but I'm I'm Garrett, the pastor, and I'm Garrett, the news guy. I have you know for a day or two, and uh, what a whirlwind week! First, I'd like to get this off my mind, my chest, whatever. But uh, um, the Feast of Trumpets is, is coming up. Yom Teru? Well, the Feast of Trumpets. And I'm old school. I'm a Christian of oh, over 40 years. And the Feast of Trumpets was always one a, a, a high, high watch time. And it still is amongst a lot of the watchmen, new watchmen, old watchmen alike. But the Feast of Trumpets this year has a lot of extras. It has, uh, what is it, the Star of Jupiter. The Star of Jupiter is going to happen. It's going to look like two moons are up there in space because of this this comet, this asteroid, it's huge one. It's going to be visible by the eye. A lot of people have had dreams of the end times, of the rapture with two moons. But there's something else, too. Uh, so there's the two moons. There's... Uh, Oh, this full moon this month before the Feast of Trumpets, at the Feast of Trumpets, the date, I should have checked my calendar, is called a Harvest Red Blood Moon. It is very rare, very rare. So that's happening. So either the Star of Jupiter or the Red Blood Moon is seven days before the Feast of trumpets which the jews call the feast that no one knows the day or the hour because they have to see the sliver of the full moon before the feast begins and then they light fires on all the hills to allow to let all the the people know that it's the feast of trumpets that they saw the sliver of the new moon and i'm getting stuffed up here right now i may pause so there's a seven day warning there's a the feast that no one knows the day or the hour. There, there's the last trump. They call it the last trump because, as I showed you, they blow the trumpet eleven times separately, nine times, and then the last trump is the hundredth one, a real long one. So the last trump, <laughs> the rapture when. We're taken up by force of Harpot. So, so I just had to let you all know that I'm watchful. I've been watchful other years on the Feast of Trumpets, but this one lines up with uh, uh, 2031, seven years before, 2,000 years from Christ. I'm going to pause it for a second. And to blow my nose there. Sorry, you guys, I'm stuffed up. But this year, 2024, is a likely uh, is a high high watch rapture times. Now I, I've had other favorites like uh, Ninth of Av, uh, Pentecost, is in there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you, you guys, and then plus the news, the news is off the chart. What I'm going to show you out of here. Ooh, got to watch these now. You know they have uh, they'd be blowing up. <laughs> Uh, the ICOM radios have been blowing up, the two-way radios that ICOM made 10 years ago. They're the ones that have been blowing up in Hezbollah's hands. <clears throat> pagers, pagers. Who uses pagers now and then? But they got rid of their cell phones to go to pagers because cell phones could be triangulated. You could hear, you know, the, the, the powers to be. CSIS, ISIS, the Mossad could re could reverse your camera. Your they these things aren't private. I said that in my other ditty. So so everything's blowing up. Uh, there's a new phase to warfare, and uh, and there's new uh, there's new things coming out for this. You know, there's the monkey one and the new COVID one. We're at the end times, you guys. Uh, earthquakes are really off the chart right now, this last week. Just boom, 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 boom. The sun, the sun is throwing 
all these X flares are, yeah, they had it. We had an X flare last week. Uh, CMEs at the earth, which can't take it like it used to. The earth is, uh, the earth defenses are waning. So here's the scripture. Just uh, quick and easy, you guys. We're saved knowing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, as Romans 10, 8 or 9 says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Soon the rapture will happen, the taking away. And there won't be anything stopping, quelling, slowing down the beast system. The devil, the Antichrist, call it what the beast system, call it what you will, will have its way for seven years. It's called the Great Tribulation. Uh, not tribulation, but the Great Tribulation. So the word believe. So with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart. Do you believe in your heart Jesus is real? Do you believe in your heart he is your Savior? Do you believe that he is God, he is Lord? The word believe is Strong's 4100. Uh, the verb of pistos is faith. Because the word believe is pisto. Pist, you all. Uh, it means to trust in. Have faith in, be fully convinced of, acknowledge, rely on. It's more than credence and church doctrines or articles of faith. It expresses reliance upon in a personal trust that produces obedience, you guys. It includes submission and a positive confession of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you saved? If you're saved, you've got to be in the harpazo. You're going to miss all the really bad muckalux stuff happening, which is started to happen. Wow. Okay, a little over seven minutes in. Let's do some news here while I'm here. It's going to be a beautiful day in Tumblr Ridge. Uh, that's where I transmit from, Tumblr Ridge, British Columbia. If you've never heard of it, you could Google it. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. Nestled in the, the foothills of the Rocky Mountains on the Canadian side of the border, up in northern BC, up along the BC Alberta border. So let's, uh, yeah, that's right. Let's, uh, oh boy, let's find my news. I feel kind of weird holding this thing, eh? Just, is it going to go? <laughs> Imagine the mark of the beast. You get this neural implant or the chip or whatever. Imagine if they have the powers to press a button and, and everybody's head blows off. Or your hand blows off your arm if it's in your hand. You know, like the mark of the beast in your forehead or your hand. Who's going to take the mark of the beast now when they know all this? Your TV sets. Smart TVs. Your I heard cars. Smart cars are, were blowing up. Uh, motorcycles. Uh, like, where does this end? Where does this end, this technology? If they're pushing technology out, uh, radio waves out, and they could hit that unit with another radio wave to make it blow up, battery or not. Nothing sacred anymore in the technology field. War is taking a turn for the, for the worst, I guess. So uh, let's go to news, you guys. Confirmed. <clears throat> At least 32 Hezbollah terrorists were eliminated in the pager attack. That was two days ago in Lebanon. Uh, uh, Reuters from the Japanese company ICOM, whose radios exploded yesterday in Lebanon, says, we stopped selling these types of radios and their batteries a decade ago. So, yeah. ICOM. They said yesterday it was ICOM um, walkie-talkies. Well, I'm sure they're talking about these. See? These are ICOM well, walkie-talkies, two-way radios. And I'm a radio guy, right? You can see I got... I, anyways, this room is full of radios. My roof's full of antennas. I talk around the world. Uh, I got a soldering gun. I know about things. But I... They had to have implanted something in these. 
to have them blow up. And the, and the only way, they, they only work for a few kilometers, you know, 10 kilometers, you know, at the most when you're talking to people, you're at war or whatever. But Hezbollah had these, a lot of these. And uh, they're ICOM, see? ICOM says, and these are about the same ones from 10 years ago. These are about 10 years old. For, I don't, they had to have something implanted in here technology-wise where they would do a different sort of half frequency, sit somewhere else with another radio or a base station with a lot of uh, watts to cover a vast area to set them up. They had to be set like a, like a bomb. They, they, they had to have little miniature um, explosive devices put in here. Because even if they had the technology, they, I don't know how they would have the technology just to set them off, you know. So, add pagers, these things. I heard a motorcycle, a car, a smart car or whatever. Uh, what else? Uh, so, some cell phones. Israel. Look, the Bible specifically, explicitly says... Those that bless Israel will be blessed. Those that curse Israel will be cursed. From now until Armageddon, Israel's going to be protected by God the Father. There's going to be miracles, just like in the 1967 war, 1973 war. Yom Kippur was that? Israel is God's time clock. And Jacob's trouble, the seven-year great tribulation is coming, and that's for them. To come to Christ. To see what's going on. Here, look at this picture here. Oh, this picture here shows an icon. Okay. Icon radio. Anyways, that's my little spiel on... Uh, <clears throat> they're very smart in what they do. So let's go to something else. The U.S. military has moved about 130 soldiers along with mobile rocket launchers to a desolate island in the Aleutian chain of western Alaska amid a recent increase in Russian military planes and vessels approaching American territory. Okay. The United Nations goal is for America to surrender its sovereignty to a global government. We all know that. Uh, we all know that. United Nations. And there is a vote. I'm coming up to a vote. They all voted for uh, Israel to stop the war with Gaza. Uh, over 100. I'll give you the stats in just a second. A shocking number of parents say their kids have no friends. Does your child have any friends? If not, find yourself a good, sound, Bible-believing, scripture-reading church. Get them involved. Sports is good too. Hockey's great. Hockey, soccer, clubs like that. Breaking Iranian hackers sent people associated with Joe Biden's campaign unsolicited information that had been stolen from Republican Donald Trump's campaign. That's from the FBI and other federal resources. Sources. Uh, yeah, Israeli Channel 12 reports that the Israeli War Cabinet has granted Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant full authorization to launch an all-out offensive against Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hey, Hezbollah has to save face, so they're probably ready to fire as many rockets as they can with whoever they got left. They took a big hit, you guys. Breaking in an unexpected move, the United States Army, I told you about that. They're going to Alaska. Uh, that suspect in the Trump assassination, that guy about the golf course with his AK or whatever gun he had, he, uh, he was only charged with gun crimes so far. According to Lebanese officials, so far 35 were dead and 3,250 injured. Uh, but according to unofficial sources, over 5,000 injured and over 100 passed away, died. So, uh, And hundreds of those terrorists are not expected to live, to survive. 
those pagers went off. So they grabbed the pagers to read what the message was. And that's when they blew up. Something out of a sci-fi movie. Wow, something out of a sci-fi movie, you guys. Oh, I just got a breaking news here. Break, let's go to breaking news. Something just came across here. Talking about more electronic devices. Breaking news. Explode. More? The United Nations had a vote, and it called on Israel to pull out of biblical lands in Judea, Samaria, and Jerusalem. The move would force millions of Jewish citizens this is the from vote. their homes. Meanwhile, for the second day in a row, electronic devices belonging to Hezbollah terrorists exploded across Lebanon, killing dozens. Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl has that story. Communications devices belonging to Hezbollah terrorists blew up in a second day of explosions on Wednesday. This attack targeting walkie-talkies after thousands of pagers were remotely detonated the day before. The Wednesday blasts killing more than 30 people and wounding 250. Hezbollah blames Israel for the explosions and says the Jewish nation will pay. At the same time, Israel says it thwarted an Iranian plot to assassinate its top leaders. Officials announcing the arrest of an Israeli citizen who had twice been smuggled into Iran and paid to promote. Uh, that was CBN just come across my. Uh, my um... Let's get to some breaking news here, uh, you guys. I'm all over the charts here <clears throat> this morning. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah, Hezbollah has been told to check their electronics for booby traps. How do you check an electronic system you got for a booby trap when you don't know how or not told anything? I would just throw it in the garbage right away. Uh, they're telling people to disconnect their batteries from the devices as well. Just throw them away. Well, whatever they want to do. Uh, here we go, you guys. A little not more scripture here from, uh, I'm not sure who this was, but Joel 3.2 says, I will gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And will plead with them, therefore, my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Here's the vote, you guys. The United Nations voted to strip Israel of its right to self-defense in Gaza in the West Bank. 124 countries want Israel to have no rights. Forget October 7th. Uh, just end it now. We demand you to stop everything. You have an unlawful presence in the Palestinian territories. Let's force the two-state solution. So that's all going on. 124 countries are for that. Only 14 are against. And what is it? 43 countries abstained from voting. They didn't want to vote. The Bible says the whole world goes against Israel. The whole world. The whole world's going to go against Israel. Mobile phones are obliterating. Radios are blasting. Oh, you guys. What was the last thing they read on those? Let's go to breaking, breaking news right now. We're a little before 20 minutes. Uh, this has come out in the last 45 minutes, hour. Oh, we got lots from Amir here. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a big one. Well, it was a big embarrassment for the Iranians because the beep of a pager of the Iranian ambassador in Lebanon blew up. So he had a Hezbollah pager. So it's deep in Iran circles. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Right now, right now, breaking news, you guys. 
Massive Israeli airstrikes in Lebanon right now. Is this it? Is this the? Is this it? A short time ago, the IDF spokesman updates. The chief of staff approved plans for the continuation of the war in the northern sector. I told you that. So are they going to take advantage of this opportunity with so many Hezbollah operatives out? With hospitals over flooded, they have to treat people in the streets. Now would be a good time for Israel to take care of Hezbollah, push them back uh, from the south southern Lebanon so they could put their 100,000 people back in their homes. Eliminate them. You guys, Lebanon is under heavy attack right now. Boom. Oh, and Nazrael is beginning his speech. Hey, wouldn't that make sense? Nasrallah, he's the head top cheese of Hezbollah. So he he had this big speech to come out for days now for Thursday, which is now. So right now he's beginning his speech. And the uh, Air Force, the Israeli Air Force is just pounding Lebanon Hezbollah strongholds. So the attack the IDF attacks now in South Lebanon are massive and very unusual. In addition, the Israeli Defense Force spokesman released a statement about the attacks in the middle of the ongoing attacks. This is very unusual. It feels like something big is happening. Is happened. You guys, this is it. Uh, breaking news. Uh, Amir is going to come out for a live breaking news update soon. I'll share that on, on uh, here if I get it. You guys, this is it, man. I think this is it. What do we got here? So Nazrael in his speech says, what Israel did crossed all red lines. It was a declaration of war. So this is over the past few minutes. Israeli Air Force warplanes have started massing bombing, bombing campaign against the southern Lebanon. I could show you video after video after video. <laughs> Let's get another one. Southern Lebanon, you guys. Who is your dad? Anyways, it goes on and on and on. That's, what's he saying? Like, like, like. That's a big blast. Okay, anyways, right now while I'm talking, you heard it. I think it started. I think it started right during Nazareth's speech. Here, I know a really good breaking news site here. Hold on. The general. Uh, Brazil judge orders Twitter to suspend service or face a $900,000 daily fine. A CIA officer who drugged and sexually abused dozens of women across the world and kept cash of 500 videos and photos of naked unconscious victims was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison. That's gross. So it hasn't hit everything yet. Oh, here, here, let's end time headlines is coming up with something. Uh... The IDF attacks now in South Lebanon are massive and very unusual. He just copied Amir's. Okay, you guys, the war's on. Are you rapture ready? Are pots ready? Because there's going to be, you know, this scientific movie we're living in right now. What's next? And who are the prophets that are on every day saying, God told me this. God told me this. God told me to tell you that. Who predicted this? Same with COVID. Although some people, like who predicted COVID in 2020? Who, who prophesied it? Who said it was going to happen? Uh, Rob, that Robin guy. Robin Bulak. Bulak. I think he might have. But you guys, we take one day at a time. We know our king is coming for us. But occupy. Uh, continue on with your projects. Okay. Don't give up like you're going to October 2nd, which I hope we do. We might not. But it's a high rapture watch time. The Feast of Trumpets. I'll see you up in the air.
Hopefully, eh? I love you guys. This is Evan Tide, Online Church, if I forgot to say it. We are an online church. I know I'm full of emails, you guys. I know I got all your religious exemption requests. I got all your rapture kit requests. I just sent a week ago or so a whole pile away. Now I'm now it's filling up again. Just give me a few days a week or so. You'll get your stuff. I love you very much. Hey, Feast of Trumpets. I really love you guys. <laughs> Come see me in heaven. We got all eternity to chat, okay? And Debbie says hi. She's doing good. She's enjoying life. And we, we appreciate your prayers. And I know when you say you're praying, praying for me and Debbie, I know you are. And I'm praying for you too. I love you. Thumbs up in the rumble. Maybe I'll throw this on YouTube if I get Nick Skade. Oh, well. Because if I get one more strike on YouTube, that's it. I disappear. Although I do have another account, uh, Garrett Brent. You can look that up. Anyways, I love you guys very much, you guys. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a good day. We're going home soon. I love you guys. Big. Uh, there's one for the Gipper. <laughs>